Hey everyone! Welcome to a new episode of Mech Arena Spotlight. Today we'll be showing off one of the biggest mechs in the game, the almighty Brick House. Oh man, I hate these things. They hit like a truck and they're tough as nails. It's like trying to fight a… well… A brick house? <sighs> yeah. You set yourself up for that. I know, I know. But I'm not wrong. You most certainly are not. The Brick House is one of the toughest mechs in the game, and it has a killer ability to boot. Yeah, about that ability, I've been trying to figure something out. When a Brick House starts glowing, it deals more damage. But it feels like all the other mechs nearby deal more damage too. I got shredded by a Lancer with auto cannons the other day. I almost deleted my account in shame. Yeah, that's the overcharger at work. Brickhouse's overcharge ability increases its own damage by 50%, but all nearby allies by a full 100%. That's instant double damage. So the more teammates it has around, the merrier. Not for the opposing team, of course. Yeah, this ability can really turn the tide on the battlefield. However, you should be careful with it. The more clustered your mechs are, the more vulnerable they are to artillery fire. Yikes. Well, okay. What about Brickhouse's weapons? Due to its size, I'm guessing Brickhouse can use some of the biggest and baddest guns in the game? Well, sort of. In terms of energy capacity, Brickhouse is strictly middle of the road, though it starts with a hefty chunk. The thing is, though, it can use its ability to make any weapon super strong. Or make a strong weapon even stronger. The next time I'm playing as Brickhouse, I'm gonna throw on a railgun and punch a hole straight through the arena. Okay. Well, that's actually technically canon in the game's lore. It's not a great strategy for the Brick House. It just doesn't have the maneuverability. Oh, all right, fine. Maybe some stasis beams or missile racks then? Oh, maybe some rocket mortars. If you can cinch your shots with your ability cooldowns. I've seen artillery Brick Houses, yeah, but it's not the mech's best kit. Instead, with decent medium range weapons, you can make yourself part of the team. Get a tank or an attacker to fight beside you, and an MD to bring up the rear. Hit the next beacon as part of a group like that and you'll be unstoppable. An MD? Why would I even need healing? Have you seen the size of this thing? Listen, Brick House is tough. We all know it. But its health isn't bottomless. You'll probably outlive the first enemy. But the second? The third? Oh, right. And seeing how it's so massive, it's probably an ideal target for long-range weapons. How does it do against Guardians? I'm guessing not well. Actually, you'd be wrong there. Getting your ability interrupted and your weapons turned off is never fun, but unlike many other mechs, the Guardian is unlikely to kill a brick house with a single system crash. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Brick house has enough meat that a single ambush would rarely take it down. Exactly, and if you're worried about it, you can always equip some fancy assault weapons like pulse cannons or carbines and have your guns loaded in just a few seconds. The Guardian had to get within 30 meters to crash you, so it'll probably still be in range even if it spent the entire time running away. <laughs> That's a great mental image. <laughs> okay, it seems like I'll have to put all this to the test now. Wish me luck. With Overcharge, you don't need luck. You just need a good team. Are you available? Sure, let's just wrap this up. That would be all from us, pilots. We hope you enjoyed our little breakdown. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this episode. Until the next time, happy hunting. Bye.